we hit our water line. So I just had to turn off all the breakers, but there's our water <laughs> to the house. Um, and then we just found this other pipe, so we're trying to figure that one out. So this is where we're at though. Down here, he's gonna mess everything up. Nope, that's hey farm fam. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome. So, this is part four of our barn build. So, technically, um, it's still the same day as the last day that we stopped on in part three. So, we worked on it this morning, which was in my last video. And now um, it's later in the day and we're gonna continue to work on it because it's the weekend for us so we can have more time to work on it. If you guys aren't up to date um, on where we're at with the progress of the barn, go ahead and make sure that you catch up, watch the previous videos um, of our barn updates so far. But we're gonna go ahead and just get right into it because we have a lot that we're gonna do today. We're gonna continue to make these stalls look more like stalls. So it's really coming together, you guys. There's so much that we still have to do. We're really getting through it. So if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these barn videos. And of course, I have a chance to make my post notification shout out. All right, let's get into building. Pretty humid out right now, so if my camera fogs up, so sorry. But um, I just wanna catch you guys up again, because I like to do this right before we start the new updates and what we're gonna start building, where we left off in the last video. So we pretty much have all the fronts on all the stalls. So they're actually really starting to look like horse stalls. It goes all the way down to here to the third stall that's gonna be on this side. And in this vlog, we're gonna be getting this stall shell framed out. And then these are the other stalls. And then we just have to finish bolting this one because we ran out of screws in the last video. And then with all your guys' comments, I said if we should frame this out in the wood or the, keep the metal. I wanted to keep the metal just because I thought it made more sense. Um, because it is a wash rack and it's gonna get wet and you guys totally agreed on the metal So we're gonna keep the metal we were even thinking like some of those scraps that we have over there of the metal and putting it on this side of this horse stall just so that it's like completely metal so if that makes sense and We have just a lot to do with the wash rack. That's honestly gonna be one of our last priorities right now The stalls are our like main priorities. So we're gonna keep trucking away on those We're really gonna frame it out today with the top two by 12 board. So it's gonna start to look um, like more aesthetically pleasing now than it is effectiveness because the stalls are gonna do their job regardless of if we add more. Um, so yeah, <laughs> there's a lot going on. And if you guys have any questions, you guys can always ask them in the comments. A lot of things um, we're doing that you guys are actually asking, we just haven't gotten to there yet. Like a lot of people keep asking me to do windows. We are doing windows, we're actually doing Dutch doors. So it's gonna be double, it's gonna be like a window and a door. If that makes sense. Hi, meow meow. So yeah, there's a lot of things. I love to answer them in the comments though. So if you guys have any questions, just of course, remember, just ask. <laughs> so I just got done taking these, um, like this side right here, out of um, the channels that we had. Because like I said, we never planned to do this right away, this fifth stall, but now we are. So we never really cut these because they overhung. So we never like split them on center of this metal beam. So we had to take off this channel really quick because now Mike's going to get the circular saw and we need to just cut it down the middle. And then if you see over there, we just got finished bolting that one in. So now all the front faces are on like was supposed to happen in the last video, but I think this is so cool. This is what the inside of the stalls look like. So cool. So, so now that we just had to take the boards out of the channels, I'm gonna mark this and um, make it down the middle and then we're gonna cut it and we're gonna start on this fit stall. Now I'm just going to Run my Sharpie down. Okay. The level down here is not that level. Oops. All right. You're fine there. Yeah, that should be good. So now we just have to cut along the red line and we should be good. So I cut all these boards. And now it's getting dark, so we're gonna go ahead and line them. Same concept as we did over here. You guys know exactly what we're doing. We're just doing it here. So just like this, it'll be done. All right, you guys, so it's day two of this vlog. 
and today we have a friend over because they are going to help us trench the yard for the electric because the electric is supposed to get started tomorrow so oh, I really hope um, but yeah we have to trench the yard today and um, still work on the barn so we have the back wall of the fifth stall done and then the side stall um, so our sides go up seven boards as you can see um, and the backs go up ten boards because then we're putting the big board up back here so we're just going to leave it seven boards right now because at first we were like oh we'll go all the way up the ten but now we aren't sure because we kind of want it to still be symmetric so we may go up three more boards and match with the back I don't know yet <laughs> but now we just need to put the channel back on in the middle of this and put this side back up and then we will have what looks like five stalls so we're just putting the boards into the channels and we just screw the bottom board in and then we screw the top board in too. But these channels are so easy to just slide the wood into. So that's what we're doing, just remaking that side that we took off to add the new stall. All right, so as you saw, we just put up the middle side again. So now we have three stalls on this side. And now it's time to work on the arch for the two by 12 that we have that's gonna go up there. So I've been trying to draw it all day, well not all day, but just earlier in the morning to figure out where I want it. So I don't know if you guys can see my pencil lines right here. And I've been using a radius, but it's a huge circle. So it's not this line, it's this line back here. So now I just need to perfect it and we're gonna cut it out and that should be fun. So I just redrew the arch and I think we figured out, now you can see like the darkest line there. It's kind of where our arch is gonna go. We're gonna set up a stand and this is gonna be fun, cutting this. So Mike's just cutting this piece of wood. It took, honestly, forever, but um, doing the rest actually went pretty quickly. We have officially one arch done, and this was brutal, and we literally have to make like 10 to 12 of these. But it's gonna look so good, and guys, this is simply just for the aesthetic of the barn. It's not a necessity for it to look like this, but we put so much effort into it, and like I said, this is like my dream barn right now. So I want it to look as good as possible. And this is the arch though, I love it. Now it's a little rough, so I need to sand it. So that's what's next. We're trenching, it's cool. And we hit our water line. So I just had to turn off all the breakers, but there's our water <laughs> to the house. Um, and then we just found this other pipe, so we're trying to figure that one out, so. This is where we're at though. Super easy and super quick, but now we have to fix this. The electric where it's gonna basically hook up through from the house and then it's going all the way under through our trench, all the way through. So it comes up right here, right next to the barn. And basically this is where we will have to hand dig and then the electric will go up. And basically the breaker is gonna be in our tack room, which is right here. All right, you guys, so it is day three of this vlog. There's Mike right there, there he is. We have a lot of wind today. It is so nice out, it's super overcast though, because we have gotten like the worst rain yesterday. It was literally like a tropical storm. It was like tropical storm winds, but it wasn't technically named a tropical storm or anything like that. Our pastures are flooded, our neighbors are flooded, it's crazy. But in result, it gave us some really nice weather today. So it really feels like it's gonna rain. It's raining. Okay, it is raining. The forecast said it wasn't gonna rain, but it is raining, Mike just said. So, um, yeah, we just need to keep getting cranking away at this stuff. So in the rain last night, I continued to sand this for a very long time till I could get my most perfect arch. And I really like it, so we're gonna go ahead and put it up, and then if we like this, we'll go ahead and trace it, and then Mike will jigsaw them, and then we'll have a rhythm of him jigsawing them, and I will be sanding them right after. While we are doing this, I wanted to thank Audible for sponsoring today's video. Audible is the leading provider of spoken word entertainment and audiobooks, ranging from bestsellers to celebrity memoirs, news, business, and self-development. During this whole barn building process, Mike and I have honestly listened to so many audiobooks. We actually are currently listening to The Faraway Horses by Buck Brenneman, who's one of my favorite horse trainers. Audible helps people get more stories and information through the gift of found time, allowing people to listen while commuting, cooking, exercising, or even building a barn just like we are. I highly recommend anyone that is interested in horses or listening to these types of audiobooks to download Audible by visiting audible.com slash Stephanie Murato or text Stephanie Murato to 500 500. The link is also going to be in my description down below. 
All right, you guys, so I am out of breath and after many hours of just cutting the arches and sanding them, those three over there are technically completely done. Mike just got finished cutting this one. This one's done, I just need to sand the other side. Haven't sanded this one at all yet. And then Mike just finished cutting this one. So that one just needs to be sanded. So a technically total of two just need to be sanded but we have three for over here and only this side needs three and then this side just needs three. So we're gonna go ahead and um, hang them before it gets dark. All right, you guys, so we can't find the bit to like the bolts that we're using to bolt in the arches that we've worked so hard on and I really wanna get those in tonight. If you guys can hear that, that's the horses walking through the water. I'm gonna see if we can see them, where are they? They're somewhere right behind me, but um, we're gonna need to go run to Tractor Supply and get a new bit really quick, but we're gonna feed right now. It's so wet over here and they choose to hang out right here. It's tricky. Hi, Bubba's. Cash is over there. Louie's butt is right there. There's Cash. It's so dark, you guys, sorry. But, see all the water? And it's pretty dry up there. They just choose to obviously stay over here because this is where the feed shed is. But we're gonna go ahead and really quickly feed them. All right, I'm using my phone because the flash is like way better because it's like not even eight o'clock right now and it's so dark. So this is Cash's, we're leaving. So I'm actually just going to pop them on the truck because on our way out to go get the bolt, we're gonna drop the feed for the horses. This is triggers. And just blaze. And Louie. Guys, I literally cannot stand feeding the way that we're feeding right now just because of everything. Because our back pasture, we can't put the horses back there right now because it needs to grow but they just sound like literal fish in my pasture <laughs> go up front you guys you know the deal i'm in the truck um just waiting for mike to get done and then we're gonna drive out that way um towards the end of the property to go get the drill bit and we're gonna stop and feed the horses on the way out there because the highest and the driest part of the property for the horses in the pasture that they're at is up front so i get them away from over here so that they can get out of the water because they like to hang out over here whenever we're over here um <laughs> kind of goofy but um i do not like feeding the way that we are so um we are starting though soon to get our tack room ready and everything like that and i have a huge tack room haul that i'm doing we have so much stuff new that's coming i literally ordered like 53 new items something like that i'm gonna do a huge tack room haul because it's gonna be crazy it's like we are restarting completely so i'm so excited for that so that should be really soon because we're gonna i think start on the tack room like maybe next week or the week after as long as we get these stalls done and we are really um moving and grooving so it shouldn't be too much longer the electrician's starting this week and then we'll almost be to where we can use the stalls <laughs> So we're just driving up to the end now. And the horses should start to follow us. I don't think they've realized. Come on, guys! Here they come, they're running. Oh, you guys aren't gonna see, but they are running. Hello. Oh my gosh. So, there we go. That's a good view. Kind of starting to drizzle. So we got Louie, Cash, Triggs. Blaze down here, he's gonna mess everything up. Nope, that's trigger, don't mess with Triggs. Here's some hay, some yummy hay. <laughs> and everybody's eating, these two eat the same grain, so they just kind of share each other's. Cash literally goes from one bowl to the next. <laughs> and everybody gets some hay, right Diggs? What are y'all doing over here? Switch spots? <laughs> All right, so everyone's got hay, everyone's fed, and now we can go to the store. Soon, you guys, soon you won't have to eat out here. All right, so this is what we came to the store to get, and now we will go back and finish our little barn project for the night and probably be done. So we're back in the barn, and you wouldn't even tell that it's like nine o'clock right now. 
because Mike went and found us a light from our horse trailer with like all of our stuff from still moving. So now we have a light and we're gonna have some good lighting to finish this up tonight. I'm so excited. Wow, Mike, I'm so happy you found this light. And you know who else is happy, Mike? The cat? No, the farm fan. Uh, because they get to see more. I thought there was a cat behind you. <laughs> no, there is a cat. I saw him, but I don't know where he went. <laughs> yeah, so if we just aim it in the air, it'll reflect off the roof. That's the fabulous. Ooh, oh my gosh, it's like more lighting than we've had the whole time. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's exciting. This is amazing. <clears throat> okay, never got so happy over a light. So we are going to go ahead and first screw this one up and start with that and see how far we get. So again, super unsafe what I'm doing. I know that um, this is just kind of like what we're working with. A lot of the things that we do probably are not the safest when it comes to building stuff, but these walls of the stall are super strong, so I wasn't worried like about them falling down or anything like that. Anyways, um, I'm just holding this side of it up so Mike screws it in over there on the other side. All right, you guys, so change of plans. We really like this. It's a huge opening, but originally we were only gonna go to seven foot on these, so it was gonna come down anyways, like to here. But then we just said we were gonna go all the way up to eight foot, but now we don't really love how skinny it gets up there, so we're gonna just pop it down and put a two by eight on top of it and see how that looks. And I think it might look a little bit more like uniform this just looks like a tiny little skinny <laughs> piece of wood so we're gonna try that now even though we just did that we're gonna take it down because this is what it's like building a barn um with us now we have the two by eight and now we're gonna go ahead and put it up wow i like that so much better yeah that window's better size too. yeah i agree the window's still really big and then, this is what the bar will look like. Yeah, much, much better. Yes. So we're gonna go ahead and do the second one now. So we're just doing the same exact thing that you guys saw um, on the first stall. We've kind of figured out a better process where Mike gets up and then of course he forgot his screws so then he had to come back up again. This one had a little bit of a bow in it but it was fine. So we have two done. I love the way it looks. It's really starting to come together and look really fancy. Um, this border here bowed a little bit, so we have to put that up with some metal. But we're doing that to actually all the stalls. We're bracing them with metal, like the sides at least, so that no horses kick it and their um, foot goes through. So we still have to do that anyways, but I am super happy with how it looks. We have a little late night visitor. Hi, baby kitty. So yeah, I'm so excited. And so we're just gonna do the last one um, of the sides on this side, and then we will um, have this side for the next vlog. And the fronts um, we also have to do, but we're not doing this exact design. We're actually going and it'll be like a curve right here, and then straight, and then a curve, if that makes sense. So it's gonna look really cute. Here it is. We still have to do the one on the back wall because we weren't necessarily going to on that back stall, but we realized it looks kind of odd without it. So yeah, our curves aren't perfect, but that's fine. You'd never know unless I told you guys. But I'm so happy with it. I cannot wait till the fronts to get on and then we're really gonna be looking really good. So I'm so excited. It's all coming together, you guys. This is so exciting. All right, you guys, so it is so late and we have worked so hard on this barn today. I wanted again to make this one filled with a lot of good stuff. So I hope you guys like this one. If you did, make sure you go ahead and give it a big thumbs up if you guys are excited for everything that we have in store to make these stalls looking perfect. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you have a chance to be on my next post notification. Shout out today, shout out goes to all right, you guys, I love you, and I'll see you in the next one.